Hey, so what's going on guys? Make it with Drug Tech back again yet another video for you guys. And today I got something really, really special and it's the limited edition e-bike from Star Wheels, which is named the M2020. So before we begin this video as usual, do consider subscribing to this channel for more content just like this and ding that notification bell so you can get notified on the latest videos which I post. So without further ado, let's begin the review on the M2020 e-bike from Star Wheels. I'm back and as you can see at the back of me I have the M2020 e-bike from Star Wheels. So what's special with this e-bike is that this is in collaboration with Persatuan Dyslexia Malaysia which is the Dyslexia Foundation in Malaysia and it's also endorsed by Tun Dr. Mahathir. So what's also special with this e-bike is that it's also designed in conjunction with the 63rd Independence of Malaysia. As you know, it just passed like two months back and there are only 2020 units available. So right here, I have a serial number 1000, which is the 1000 unit. All right, so let me bring you for a tour around the e-bike. All right, so what's special about this e-bike is the first three in one e-bike means that you can go fully electric if you just want to cruise or you can use the integrated pedals to ride it just like any other ordinary bicycle. So the third option is that you can also pedal and also use the electric motors together. So I think that's a really neat feature. So if you do want to conserve some battery, you can actually consider pedaling to give the motor a start so you don't have to stress the motor and drain the battery. All right, so this scooter has a single motor in the rear. Let me give you a closer look. So this motor has a peak power of 540 watts, but uh, regularly is only 250 watts. And uh, the battery, which is uh, this portion, it is 10 amps hour. If you compare with the previous e-scooters I reviewed, I think this is a very, very light e-bicycle, which is good in a way. All right, so it has a max speed of 25 kilometers per hour. However, I did reach slightly above 25, I wrote around 27 kilometers per hour, which is not too bad. Okay, let's look at the brakes. So it has a front and rear mechanical disc brake, so you can see using cable on the pad. See right here. So the brakes are more than sufficient, trust me. For that speed, these disc brakes are more than sufficient. All right, so you have seen Star Wheels other e-bike models, you'll know that the rims are pretty small. So actually when Star Wheels contacted me to give me a, an e-bike to review, I was like, I'm gonna look like an elephant on a tricycle. I mean, that's that's a pretty funny imagination if you do imagine it. Because I find the e-bikes, the wheels are too small for me. The whole form factor is basically too small for my size. I'm not that big, but I just feel it's too small for me, not like a scooter, you know? So. I was like, okay, you just bring it over, I will just take a look at it. But when I actually saw it, I was like impressed because actually these tires are one of the first in the industry. These tires are 14 inches versus 12 inches on the other models. So just imagine a car with small wheels versus a car with uh, medium size to large rims. Which one looks better, right? Of course, the medium to large rims look better than a car with small rims, right? So this body size, I think with a 14 inch rims, it looks proportional now. So when I took it for a ride, I also didn't expect it to impress me. But anyways, it did really impress me, to be honest. Uh, I had a lot of fun riding this. Of course, the speed is not that fast. But uh, considering that this is a very small e-bike, I think the speed is uh, just nice for the size. So one more thing about this e-bike is that it takes a payload of 120 kgs. So if you're almost 120 kgs, I think it's a bit of a stretch. I'm, I'm honestly around 94 to 95 kg. And I think it's just nice for the motor power. So I still need to pedal once in a while to give the motor a nice boost so you can reach the optimum speed. But uh, once it reaches the optimum speed, it stays there quite consistently. There are no like uh, fluctuations in terms of the power. So that's a good thing. So one more thing to mention is that this uh, scooter actually uses the number one uh, motherboard from China, which is a uh, Tao Tao, if I'm not mistaken. So that, that is a good thing. That means that uh, the power and the reliability is there. And besides, Star Wheels gives really, really good uh, after sale service. So by the way, this retails for 3,500 ringgit if you are early bird. I'm not sure whether there's early bird price anymore. But if you're early bird, this retails for 3,300. So for, for the price, I think the e-bike is not too bad. The build is very good. And moreover, you're also contributing to the Dyslexia Foundation on every purchase. So that's a pretty good CSR effort from Star Wheels. And on top of that, I think the right handling is very comfortable. So as you can see, my version has uh, two seats. I'm not sure whether it comes with the free accessories anymore, but uh, if it comes with it, that's good. 
because they they didn't mention it the website anymore i guess but anyways the version i got is with the full accessory kit with the back in the center and with extra seats as well all right guys so since it's a limited edition definitely there's a limited edition serial number the unit that you're getting so there are two places where you can find it besides the certificate which i will be flashing a picture of it for you right now so besides the certificate there are also a couple of places so right here on the back you can see 1000 because this is the 1000 unit and there's one at the bottom here somewhere so there's another place where you can find your unit number okay so talking about endorsement by Mahathir so where can you find his signature so the signature can be found when you remove this back so I was actually looking for it I thought it was a scratch but it's right here I'm not sure whether you can see it in the sunlight because you can see right here this is actually his signature so this is endorsed by Tun Dr. Mathieu so this is a pretty neat uh, collaboration I should say the colour scheme is light I do like the red and black colour scheme to be honest alright so let's take a look at the electronics part as usual on the front you can see this is a LED lamps which are more than adequate in fact for night riding and when you're on the front head lamps you also get another lamp in the back right here and when you press the brake it actually flashes you can see right here so that's a very neat feature i think they have very refined the design of the of this e-bike in fact all right so since we're on the topic of electronics let's take a look at the controller module so it's a very very simple controller module so right here there's a key system so when you turn it off it, it goes off and you turn it on it just goes on so it's basically simple as that and you have three modes as usual first speed second speed and third speed so that's basically the most basic controller you can ever get the disc brakes the brakes i should say are here okay and then the throttle how do you accelerate you actually accelerate with this so you just spin it around and then you can move forward so i think that is a pretty comfortable position rather than the level system all right so on the left side we get the light switch so how i turn on the lights from here as well as the horn which is uh, pretty useless to me to be honest all right so that's the body for the electronics part seats wise uh honestly i'm not sure many people really want this front seat but since it comes if you have kids i think that's a perfect solution if you want to bring them out for a ride yeah, i guess this is for their feet and uh, for the seat the main seat i should say this is also adjustable you can see there's a lock here you can actually adjust it so i think overall the seats are very comfortable uh, considering that i actually rode it for a while i think the seats are really really impressive so on the rear we get a suspension on the front there's no suspension so on the rear we get this uh, hydraulic suspension which is uh, you can see adjustable because there are some thread lines here so they're adjustable and you can see right here the motor which i showed you earlier as well as uh, the pedal assist so this is a single gear it gets you fast enough i should say so these pedals are also uh, retractable for storage so you can see right here i just press them in and they can retract simple and, e and easy just like that all right so this handlebar is also foldable and i think the, the design is very ingenious so you can see right here there's a lock mechanism so all you need to do is actually just pull it back let me show you let me try it and see it's that hard okay so i release the lock and after that let me turn this thing off and after that all you need to do is just basically bend it down like this so you can see right here really really compact you can fit into a compact car as well so i think that's a very neat feature you can even use this quick release to lower the seat or take it out totally look at the size it's so small and compact i think it's a really really good thing okay and i think the mention is that this also has a serial number on the front this is the chassis number right here so it's ready in case Malaysia implements any laws regarding e-bikes but this is a pretty slow e-bike so I don't think they will have any law regarding this so to unfold it basically you just do this pull it up and then you look at this lock right here as simple as that so overall what are my thoughts on this e-bike after getting it for a day or so so honestly i think this e-bike is something i would definitely recommend especially if you are interested in limited edition items and you do want to contribute to the foundation so this will definitely help them out as well and then the color scheme is awesome i really do like the color scheme very nice choice of colors good job and this is a very fine e-bike as compared to 
the other models is like an upgraded version so all right guys this concludes my first look and walkthrough of the m2020 e-bike from star wheels so honestly in my opinion i really support this collaboration because i think it helped the people that i need as well and you get a really awesome looking e-bike which is a limited edition with the 14 inch rims so you won't look like an elephant on a tricycle i mean your small size that won't apply to you but for me i feel that i'm more comfortable with this size rather than with the 12 inch rims so i think it's a very very good touch that they have done right there just by changing the rim size and honestly the rim design looks pretty good as well so i do like the spoke design rather than the fan shape design for the rim so nice work there star wheels and that's all for this video hope you guys like it if you did like it do give it a thumbs up and also i will have more coverage on this so thanks guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video